Hi, it's, it's Santi Radio. Okay, so uh, today's topic is eye contact in Japan or with the Japanese people. Have you ever felt that Japanese people don't look at you directly? Your eye contact? Well, tonight, after you're watching this video, you understand perfectly why and how you should do when you talk to Japanese people. What should you expect? All right. So uh, first of all, let me share you one comment I got from my subscriber. It's from Mary Rose Apoyong. Hi, Apoyong. Apoyong says, uh, here is a topic that you want to talk about. Why Japanese guys don't look at you when you talk to them? They either look to another direction or look to their feet while talking to you. In my country, it, is, it means that they're not interested in talking to you, they're lying, or they're not sincere. Thank you, Apoyong. This is a classic, isn't it? Yeah, every foreigner has wondered about this. Especially I was outside of foreign uh, countries, right? I felt the same thing. But as I get used to English, I get used to my cultural differences too. Well, simply, if I ask this question, cultural difference. Yeah. And if you ask other uh, Japanese YouTuber or your friends, they will do the same thing. They will do the same thing. They will say, that's cultural difference, right? However, tonight I'm going to give you entire iceberg, not tip of it, okay? All right, so first of all, when you understand Japanese people, you have to understand high context, low context, okay? We are high context culture, right? So please watch this video if you don't know what is high context, low context, okay? I kind of explain that video. And also, there are some videos I explain in my channel, so please watch that. And then, since we are high context culture, we are receiving, perceiving, checking, observing so much information when we do communicate. Okay, quick recap. Low context, high context. That's the differences, okay? For example, some countries are more like a law, like America, England, okay? Or like Western countries, Netherlands, yeah? Russia, okay? But high context, more like an Asian country, like a Taiwan, Japan, Philippines, whatever. But Japan is a highest context, that's for sure. <laughs> Most high context country, I think, all right? And then the difference between this low and high is communication style. Okay, how they perceive, how they do, how they deliver message. All right, for example, low context culture, they are more direct, direct to the point. They ask what they want to know, they express what they want to say. They say that in the word. For example, if they love you, they say I love you. Okay, without saying I love you, they cannot feel love. Or very difficult to feel love, without saying anything. If they have a question, they raise a hand say the question, whatever. So they say whatever they need. They express directly, okay? Therefore, if you don't look at me, simply it doesn't, you don't, you don't, ha you don't have any interest in me. You know, they might associate that behavior like that because they're so direct, directly communicate, right? On the other hand, high context are indirect. Without saying anything, they expect each other that the please understand me without saying anything. I know it sounds like a, like a magic for Western people, but we do. We call read atmosphere, kukiyome, okay? If someone is here, we always assume, what, he, what, what is he thinking about? How, do I, how am I seen by him? We call public eye, okay? So we, without saying that, care everyone. That's who we are. Therefore, th therefore, tiny message by gesture, by tone of voice, by eye contact, create huge differences. Do you understand now so far? I hope you catch up with this. Anyway, so for example, okay, for example, if someone, if someone, okay, oh, let's say, okay, Apoyong, okay, Apoyong, from Western country. Okay, and me, Santi, from Japanese, okay, Japan, okay? We are together in office, discussion, having a discussion about next plan, right? Next uh, business plan. And then Santi just, okay, let's say, uh, let's say Santi is boss, okay? Sorry, I'm boss now. Santi is the boss, Apoyong is my subordinate, okay? If I, when I, Santi said, hey, Apoyong, we should try this idea, I think it's good. 
Okay? If opponent do this, if if opponent do this. <sighs> yeah, I think so. If she does that in Japanese, oh god, that's so bad. Let's try in Japanese. Apion san, kono aida dou? Itomimasu yo. Itomimasu. That's bad. You know why? The sigh, the big sigh. What the fuck was that? That's how most of Japanese people feel. Because they are perceiving, observing, feeling, catching the gesture, what she did. And they start thinking about, why is she doing this to me? Is there any meaning behind? She doesn't like the idea, A, eh? Or she doesn't like me? Or she want to go back home first? Because it's too, too late. What's wrong with her? That's what their mentality right now. <laughs> I'm not joking, that's how they are. Okay? How about other example? If I say, Apoyo-san, kono idea do? Let's try this idea. And the Apoyo said, Yep, いいですね。Did you hear that? This is bad too. Seriously, we make this noise when we are pissed off or angry or frustrated, <laughs> like a shit. So, yeah. So, without any intention, Apoyo san did. Then we are now. My brain started working. Why she's doing this? Why? I got offended. Why? What is this? You know. Do you understand that? So tiny gesture, tiny movement, anyway, anyway, tone of voice, whatever, small things, Japanese are observing. Because our culture is, without saying anything, understand each other. Okay? That's why both parties are always polite, calm. If you're showing some negativity, if you're showing some action by clicking or by sorry, that's a gesture enough. That's a message enough for Japanese. And then it has tons of context in it. Do you understand now? You understand now? So let's go back to eye contact. So when someone looking at me like this and speaking like that, that has strong message as well. Either positive or negative. Either one. Strongly positive, I should say strongly positive, strongly negative. Either one has it. There is no between meaning much. If I strongly keep looking at your eye contact and talking like this, either strongly positive or negative. They look at you sometimes, okay? Like this, glance at. That's default, okay? That's a standard, okay? But if they keep talking like that, either one. So um, let's say... Uh, Okay, when you understand this eye contact, you have to understand the context too. What is, what are you saying? Okay, let's take, let's go back to the case, okay? If Apoyon san says, if I ask to Apoyon, Apoyon, kono idea do? What do you think about this idea? Okay, kono idea do? If Apoyon did, my eyes, okay, my eye. If she does this, okay? Santi san, sore wa yoku nai desu yo. Anmari ii to mumasen. If she looking at me like that directly and then saying negative stuff, I really feel a lot. <laughs> like a negative times 10, you know what I mean? Even though she nicely talking, it's strong effect. Okay. So, um, and if she decisively said something, like, uh, I don't think it's a good idea. This kind of sentence, okay? Like, I don't think it's a good idea. That directly means, I don't think it's a good idea, okay? If she said that to me like this, That's strong, man! Seriously, that is strong! Seriously. So, okay, maybe you wonder, Okay, Santi, I understand that the context, whatever, and how you talk, and the eye contact is not that straight. It's not necessary. So, how should I do this? If I mildly, like, uh, suggest, I don't like it, whatever. You might you might think like that, right? Don't worry. I'm gonna show you right now. If you don't like some idea, you can do this. So Apoyon san, kono idea do? You can say, hmm, so ne, hmm, so 
どうだろうな。That's good enough!Seriously! What I did this? うん、そうですね。I see. うん、どうだろうな。うん、what, what, um, what, what's going on? うん。What can be happen? うん。That's it! That's it! Seriously! You don't have to say negative stuff. But the, you know, gap, duration, and the way you said it, I see. That's way enough. Shh, Apoyon doesn't like my idea. And I sense it. Okay, okay, so、uh, Apoyon san, what about a different idea? And Apoyon say, oh, oh, so it's no ga, um, so it's no ga, um. I just said, that one is, yeah, that one is, yeah. That's what I said. However, now Apoyon showing positive communication style. Do you understand that? She didn't say, I like the idea. She doesn't have to say. She doesn't need strong eye contact neither. She just say, Mm, ah, oh, so no ga, mm, mm. That is, mm, mm. That's far enough. Do you understand this? It is difficult, right? Isn't it? But anyway, so、uh, we don't need directly expressing words by,、uh, by, by, by words in eye contact. Therefore, when you're just talking to people, Japanese people, Strong eye contact, whatever the context, they are, sh- they are receiving, perceiving so much message. It could be like, Apoyon really h a t e this idea. Apoyon is so aggressive. Apoyon likes me? I'm married? Oh my god. Like this, whatever. So many messages they're receiving. <laughs> Therefore, when you talk to Japanese people, look at their eye, maybe 10%. Some people, 0%. Seriously, I've seen many. Don't, yeah, many. Never look at your face. Maybe 1%. Like this. Then, I'm going to go to the next one. They never look. And it's common. Okay? But if you're doing business occasion, be professional. Maybe you should at least look at their face. Maybe 20%. 30%. But anyway, it should be minor, not a majority. A minority. Should majority should be somewhere else. Yeah. Maybe your hair, nose, or mouth, or your breast, whatever. Anyway, somewhere else. Look at them. All right. In the end, I want to give you some example when I speak in Japanese to you. And then, okay, I'll show, I show you the example, okay? So I want you to focus on my observe on my eye the ratio that when I look at your eye, Or somewhere else, the ratio, okay? And the timing as well. I want to speak in Japanese about my background, okay? In Japanese. So you won't understand, but briefly, if I say now, Hi, my name is Santi. I'm from Japan and I went to uh, uh, Ireland、uh, for MBA and I used to work in a m e r a t e Airline. I want to say that in Japanese, okay? But please observe my eye so you understand the ra- good ratio, okay? Full in Japanese. It would be like this. Ah, はじめまして。えー、サンティと申します、えー、私は、えー、アイルランドであの MBA を取ってました、えー、その後その前はですねエミレーツ航空でシチュワード、えー、をしてました、えー、2年間ぐらいですかね働いてましてそうですね、まあ、ドバイの生活に関しては全然楽しくやってました、はい、そして、まあ、思うことがあって MBA にいたという感じですねで MBA の時卒業しながら、まあ、ウェブスタートアップを起業して OK? That's a good, good amount. How often do I see your eye? When did I see your eye? Most likely, people look at you. Yeah. Japanese people, when they look at you, when they emphasize a certain word, they want to make sure certain important points, they look at you. Other than that, look somewhere else. Some people never look at you and talking to you. And, but that's so normal. Yeah. But in business occasion, 20 to 30%, at least look at their eye. Rest of 70 or 80, look somewhere else. It's fine. Okay. That's it. What do you think, guys? Okay, let me know your comments. And then if you have any idea, wondering, let me know, okay? I'm gonna answer you. And also, if you like it, please share your friends or subscribe. See you tomorrow. Bye.